Today's reading is Troll, an Enchair from the Monstro Encyclopedia book series. Demi-humans that live in villages they make underground or in caves, they have got a large frame and a durable body with high vitality. They have a high affinity with earth elements, and the power of earth is imbued within their body. Perhaps because of that, various plants grow from their heads and have a symbolic relationship with the trolls. Due to the existence of the troll as soil, it's possible for the plants to grow even in bad environments such as caves and wastelands. On the other hand, due to the various medicinal benefits brought about by the plants, trolls are blessed with the ability to rapidly regenerate even if wounded a bit, and they can even use them as emergency food and medicine. Gentle and highly intelligent by nature, this race has had various interminglings and trade with humans, and sometimes there's even social cooperation. But that's a tale of indoors and nighttime activity, for when hit by sunlight, the power of Earth that dwells within them increases. Due to this, the soil of their body becomes in existence even closer to the Earth. Activating the plants on their head and even the medicinal effects caused by the plants increases. The plants of the demon realm, with their bewitching and aphrodisiac effects, are included amongst those growing out of their head. Those compounds affect their mind and go th around their body, driving them wild with lust, causing their eyes and thoughts to melt with lewdness. In spite of the fact that they seem to be spaced out as if sleepy after taking a sunbath, on the contrary, their physical abilities are increased considerably. Driven by desire, they'll assault human men in an attempt to have sex with them. Because they have this sort of ecology, they are often reported to be a dim-witted, ferocious race by those who encounter them under sunlight. Their bodies are not just excellent soil for plants, they're also extremely well suited for men to sow their seed. Their voluptuous forms are pleasantly soft and huggable, and they can squeeze and pleasure a man's penis when they take it in, causing the ejaculation of a large volume of seed. When semen is poured inside their womb, they don't waste a single drop, and they let it permeate their body and greedily try to become pregnant with a man's offspring. They have a custom of decorating their body with beautiful flowers. It's because of an inferiority complex they harbor. Their hands and feet are large and crude compared to those of humans, and they want to hide them to look at least a little bit better to men. Also, they have an extremely strong body odor, so another one of the reasons is to try and cancel out that with the fragrance of flowers. However, the body odor is definitely not something unpleasant. If men nearby smell it, the powerful female odor makes them dizzy. That alone is enough to cause an erection. Furthermore, in the dawn of the future, when monsters become able to give birth to Incubi, it is expected that having a high affinity with Earth elements, they will give birth to the greatest Earth elementalist. So the faction of elementalists that are friendly towards monsters have approached them and have been actively deepening friendly ties as of the present. Among them, many men are falling for them and getting married to them.